for this report. I'm joined now by Ben Wittes, editor-in-chief of Lawfare. Eli Stuckel's a White House reporter for the L.A. Times. Susan Del Percio, a Republican strategist. And Mike Quigley, a Democratic congressman from Illinois who sits on the House Intelligence Committee. I want to go to Ben on this. What do you make of this? I mean, we, last night we expected a bombshell. Instead, we got a big teasing document with a lot of redacted material that tells us this guy's a canary. He's saying everything. He's telling uh, uh, Mueller everything he needs to know about the relationship between Trump and the Russian ambassador and all that stuff that went on. And yet we've got to figure out what's going on between the lines here. Yeah, everything. So uh, clearly what Mueller decided to do here was he needed to communicate to the court what recommendation he was going to make with respect to Flynn. He needed to communicate that Flynn had given him everything that he could reasonably want from him. And he didn't want yet to tell the public what he knows, what he's found, what he's planning to do. And so the document is a very careful, as you say, tease in which it outlines sort of the mechanics of what Flynn has done, 19 interviews, substantially assisting in multiple investigations, and uh, uh, encouraged other witnesses by his example to come forward, but doesn't actually say anything that he said. And so it leaves all of that to another day. Congressman, quickly, thanks for joining us. Could you use this report last night as kind of a flashlight to point forward as to what uh, Mueller's got here, where he's headed? I think what's striking is, uh, what, 17 months into the investigation, we're still learning the, the width and depth of what uh, the special counsel is looking into. And why does Flynn matter? For those who forget, uh, let's just remember what Director Comey told us that the president himself asked him to go easy on Flynn or to what would it take to let it go. Uh, obviously, there's a lot to, at stake here. And we have to remember what uh, General Flynn was accused of. Um, it was lying to the Justice the FBI about his meeting with the Russians on lifting sanctions. News stories all the day, uh, all day long, all week long about what those sanctions mattered uh, to the president about. So uh, I'll say this, there's no coincidences in the Russian investigation and apparently everything is tied together. Well, the, well, the president has been characteristically silent on the memo since its release yesterday. His lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, said of Flynn, if he had information to share with Mueller that hurt the president, you would know it by now. He added, there's a Yiddish word that fits. They don't have butt kiss. Anyway, we'll see what that's worth. Let me go uh, to Susan on this. Uh, you worked with Rudy. I don't take this for anything. Well, Your I thoughts. think that, what is I, he's using Yiddish out here. First of all, he doesn't have anything to say, so he's using Yiddish. I think he gave us butt kiss. I don't think he had anything to say, except he's trying to flack here. Well, Chris, I think he's Meshuggah so okay, good. play that. That's my Yiddish on being a little crazy. The, this is the, the president's only legal strategy right now is deflection. So, of course, Rudy Giuliani goes out there and just says something that will make the president happy that says, oh, they have nothing because that's what they've been doing all along. And that's what the fundamental problem with this White House is in handling this investigation, is that they simply go out and just speak when they don't know what they're talking about. And, they, and I think this is going to lead them to, you know, digging themselves a bigger grave than what they already have because they don't know what they're responding to. Eli, let me ask you about this. Uh, from the beginning, we know this one of the this story of the possible obstruction of justice began when the president uh, went to see Comey, the head of the FBI, and said, lay off. Leo Flynn, let him go. Well, now Flynn has been let go. Ironically, he got what Trump was asking for him. He's free to he's walking scot free right now. What do you think he had to give him to get that get out of get, get out of jail card? Well, from what we're told, 70 hours or so of interview with the special counsel about his time and his conversations, you would have to think, with the president during the transition, during the campaign. So that could detail. I mean, we don't know what the, the nature of those conversations are are yet. Um, a lot of that stuff is probably uh, what has been. Well, we know the questions you'd ask, though, because you'd ask, what about your relations with the Russian envoy? Right. With Kisilak? What were you talking to him about?
Right, what were you but, talking about, but, about san sanctions about? What were the deals you were making? Exactly. So that obviously is something that they talked about. The fact that it's redacted tells you uh, that so much of this report is redacted. It tells you there's a lot of interesting things, a lot of uh, shoes left to fall here in this investigation. I mean, the president and the people around him have been telling themselves and telling the public that this is about to wrap up for some time, uh, almost to sort of make themselves feel like they can engineer it just by saying it. That's not the case. And this uh, sentencing memo, it seems to be an indication that... Um, this is not anywhere close to being over just yet. There are possibly more indictments. There are possibly more uh, big developments. Yeah, ben, tell me, what else do you think is going on here? Because according to the document we got last night, it's not just the Russia investigation. There's other criminal investigation. There's other perhaps civil actions, something going on. They're, they're really working this guy, Flynn, for information yeah. to get people. So Flynn, uh, you know, was involved in a lot of stuff. He was involved in stuff during the transition. Uh, that is of interest to the special counsel. He was involved with Russia stuff from before that, right? He was involved. We saw him in a dinner over there. Exactly. He was uh, also involved in some very weird activities as a private lobbyist for Turkey. For the Turkeys. For, the, for, 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 the Tur for Turkey, yeah. yeah. And, you know, uh, so I think there's a variety of matters that both the special counsel and other components of the Justice Department would be interested in talking to him about. Now, what those are, you can see where they are in the document, you know, a criminal matter and then a big blank spot. You can see, uh, you can see where it is, but what those consist of, nobody knows. Bob Mueller doesn't want us to know yet, and, uh, you know, he runs a really tight ship, and we just don't know yet. Congressman, I'm wondering about how much information has fled already to the president through Whitaker, his uh, acting AG. If Whitaker got a hold of these documents before they were redacted, he would know a lot of stuff that we'd like to know right now, and he could walk it right over to the president and say, guess what, Donald, here's what we got. Here's where they're working. Do they know, does Whitaker know what's on this redaction? Obviously, the appointment of Mr. Whitaker was meant to, at the very least, uh, slow or hinder the investigation, if not obstruct it or end the investigation. So the fact that he's there and potentially, we just don't know, has access to the redacted uh, words in this document is particularly of concern. Uh, if he turned it over to the president, at the very least, it would be uh, wildly unethical, if not violation of the Department of Justice regulations. And we have to ask ourselves, and Congress needs to find out, uh, did he do this, and has the president asked for this information? What communication is taking place? Uh, and obviously, if the president asked for it, it would be another one of his abuse of powers. Right, but he's not, he's not been, uh, he's not recused himself, Whitaker, at all. Why wouldn't he just ask the uh, Mueller's team? Get, let me look at that unredacted. I want to know what's in there. Right, and that's been his sort of again because it's behavior.